What is going on my homies? Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. So, you guys have really enjoyed the search for the perfect bass boat. But as have I, because it's been an awesome process. I've got to see all these really cool boats, how they're rigged out. And no matter what boat I choose, I learned a lot of different little mods and tweaks that I can do to the boat that I choose in order to make it super duper awesome. We're gonna expand on this. So I think I'm gonna start a little series and we're gonna start it today on these guys. If you have a boat, yeah, probably you got a truck and you'll probably put a bunch of fishing stuff in it because you might be traveling around fishing club tournaments, fishing maybe the opens, fishing the tour, or just going on like epic fishing trips to catch big bass, which is what I absolutely love to do. So today we are with my buddy Chris Kingry who owns 44 Tackle up here in Inverness, hanging out and he fishes the opens. So he has his truck set up to travel to catch bass. So what we're gonna do is go through and see how he has his truck set up, what he's got in it, how he plans ahead to be able to fish these opens, and just how he travels with everything he needs to go bass fishing in one truck. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's check this thing out. So I got my boy Chris. Chris, what's your uh, Instagram and where can they find your shop? It's Chris Kingry Fishing and my shop is 44 Tackle and you can reach it at 44tackle.com. Uh, free shipping over $35. I'll put links to all that down in the description box. So Chris, we have, I really like actually, I'm not a huge fan of wraps. I really like the wrap on your truck. But before we get to that, tell me uh, what we got in front of us. So it's a 2020 Toyota Tundra 4x4 SR5. Um, so it's the double cab, uh, not the crew max. It's the, uh, the smaller version. Um, it's got four doors and uh you know i've got um pretty much that you know i've got 18 inch rims 30. you just got these and they are pimp dude i'm not a fan of rims but he put these things on and they look good yeah. dude and, uh, I have 33 inch tires um and a three and a half rough country rip lift what's the motor that's in this thing uh it's the five seven the five seven uh, yep. so it's kind of like my my ram a little bit mm -hmm. dude okay and it is four wheel drive uh, you know one thing that with these tires yes they look super fancy but if you look there's like a half inch deep if not deeper than that tread on there and the one thing that we have in florida is a lot of uh, sugar sand and there's some some naughty boat ramps let me tell you naughty boat ramps that you need four wheel drive and big tires to get into so yes they look good but chris is gonna be able to fish some absolutely back woods freaking ramps with that because you can pull that you know he's got the express so it's a little bit lighter but you can pull a glass boat out of it you know turn on the four-wheel drive you're good to go so the tires are actually kind of an essential especially if you want to do some of this backcountry fishing that i really enjoy i see you have rod tubes on the back on the top i have always thought about these are they functional are they worth it do you use them yeah absolutely so i bring extra rods because you never know what can happen so i bring extra actions of my most popular actions i use so i'll and it'll store up to an eight foot rod in there and uh, so i always have extras in case like you know you go for two or three weeks out on the road or whatnot um you don't have time to always swing by a store to go get some extra things so i'll always carry extra rods up there for in case i step on one or you know whatever could happen do they lock or create like wind drag or anything uh, i mean I'm gu i guess they do have a little bit of wind drag but they've got a locking deal here and oh so you could put like a little padlock yeah, pad right through there right okay because yep. that's right always now, my so, worry because you yeah. start putting that's the only thing that always worries me is you start putting this stuff on a truck and you make yourself let's let's be perfectly frank like a target at a boat ramp especially some backcountry boat ramp for people to come and try to get in your stuff so you want to be as secure as you possibly can be so this is the coolest part of this truck we're going to look at the front in a second but can we crack open this back because this is what i really like one of the struggles i've had with my truck is tackle storage i I've separated the stuff that I bring to Florida. So when I come to Florida, I have all these big plastic bins, but I literally throw them in like a rainproof pouch in the bed of my truck. And it's not super organized. You know, they're in there, they're laying around. And then I take them out and put them on my parents' house. You have a much better system. Let's take a look <laughs> at this thing, dude. So this is the back of Chris's truck and you have this organizer. Is yeah. this like a fishing specific organizer or no, is this like a it's, truck it's, organizer? It's a truck organizer. It's called a deck system um, and it's it's for, you know, construction workers or any, anybody. But it, it sits in here. It's very easy to install yourself. Um, it comes with a bunch of parts that you just kind of screw together and it, it comes apart in like three or four pieces. And it's got the drawers that roll out. Um, they go the full length of the bed. So I could, real quick before we get into it, 
I could, if I wanted to, like sleep on top of this. Like I could put a blanket yeah. since you it's like flat or something. And the way I've got my topper, you got the sliding windows. With yeah, the yeah. On, so you'd be able to, you know, crack that open. I need to do that because one thing we might get into is a little bit more like fish camping, and this would be a super functional setup because you can still, one of the problems is if you sleep in the back of your truck, you're taking up that space and you don't have much storage. So the only way to do it is to have some kind of storage system like this. So let's take a look, dude. Yeah, so I've got my- Your you golf know, my, clubs. My off season <laughs> stuff here. Um, but no, I've got my, you know, my spare prop, uh, my, my jack from the side of the road, my spare tire for my trailer. Um, and my, my seat, I always, you know, things I hope to use the less, least yeah. will be in the back. But they're um, in there and accessible, yeah, ready to and, go. Yeah, and I'll, I'll put my tubs in here when I travel and okay. things like that. I'll have big Rubbermaid tubs. Yep. And I usually take those out and put them right to the, the house when we get there. Yeah, yeah, so you can um, access everything. And, but then everything else that I always want with me, my tools, my, you know, my impact gun, all that stuff, yep. um, I'll put down here, uh, spare baits. So, dude, that comes out like crazy long. Yeah, yeah, this it, is it like three way, and a half, four feet long, dude. So, wow. You know. and is, then, that, uh, is that a toilet thing? No, no. Oh, no, that's oh, a that, hub. That's a hub. That's oh, a that's hub. a smart yeah. thing to bring, dude. Um, oh, you got to back up for your Garmin. Um, you know, that's laundry soap. Oh, yeah, for, for beds <laughs> when you get the... But, but it's all kind of, and can you move, you can move these yeah, dividers, dividers around? Every, every about 10 inches here. So you can make it as, as minuscule or segmented yep. as you want or as, as broad as yep. you want. Dude, that's really, really cool. And it just clicks in. Yep. Gosh, that is super easy, dude. Bottle opener for a, a bottle of it. Very nice. Um, you know, that. super sturdy. That you, you just kind of screw it down to the bed yeah, of the truck. So like I've got my, you know, my yeah, drill. your drill, your impact, this a bunch of total mess wiring. Right get ready to but but it gives you an indication. Yeah. You know, you can test your battery, see if you got a battery yeah. bad or if there's another power yeah, issue. Wire you can fish. snake a, a yeah. transducer if you need to. Jumper cables, yeah. spare batteries. Dude, so this is cool. This is super cool. So that's a divider. You got a little window in the back of your um, topper. Gets stuff gets very <laughs> nice. <laughs> And really, you could throw anything back here. It's just a way to sort of manage what you're bringing along in a little more organized manner. Chris needs to. It's the beginning of the season, so and he's going to get I organized. I used to fit a whole spare trolling motor in there too, inside one of the drawers. Mm -hmm. yep. Are you serious? The nice part about the, having that deck system is anything that you have that's valuable when you're traveling. You know, you've always got people looking at you. You've always got, you know, the, the worry of getting broken into. The nice part is, is once you put this tailgate up, you can lock the back. And now they can't get to your because your the stuff. drawers would never they pull would have out. to disassemble the whole thing to get to it. I never even thought about that. That's super cool. Yeah. So they could, I God, I hate to say it. they could break in the window yeah. and dude, they're never going to get in there. Yeah, and that they won't know super, what's in there. And it's going to take too long to figure it out. So that is awesome, dude. So we're going to wrap this thing up and we're going to jump in the front of the, the truck real quick and take a look. Since Chris is on the road a lot, um, he actually has what I think is really cool because I have a super basic truck. It's actually like the work version. You have what is it actually called this let me show them real quick you got this giant like screen in here dashboard yeah and it, it has uh, apple carplay with it so i can plug my my iphone um right into it and uh it'll run all the apps off of my my iphone so my spotify app um, for music and then also uh, Google Maps or Apple Maps, whichever you use. So you can um, jam, get where you're going all at the same time. Yeah, and it'll display messages up there so you, you can be hands-free the whole time. It, which varies calling. from state yep. to state, which is annoying. I, how comfortable is this truck? Like, it right. seems like you got the basic like cloth seats and that. It looks like you have the electronic controls for the seat right there to adjust. But overall, like comfortable. I know you've done some what is it 20 some hour drives yeah like, yeah we've gone 20 hours straight to new york and it and um you know it's it's been great i i've tried you know other trucks and this is what i've settled on that i i feel is the most comfortable truck for me what kind of power plugs do you have for since so you have it's all, got power everywhere okay so um, show me some of these guys so yeah getting new, used to the new lift bro <laughs> <laughs> so i've got you know there's three USB or four USB ports or three three USB ports here. Okay. So these two charge. This one goes to the CarPlay system. Okay. It also has a regular cigarette lighter there, which you can put an adapter in. There's a regular to. cigarette lighter in inside the center console. Huge okay. Huge center console, by the way. Um, cigarette lighter right Dude, there. That's nice. Um, I got my jellyfish launcher. What is a jellyfish launcher? It's the rear light. <laughs> Extra. 44 tackle stickers. 
It's got a charger for the back here. Oh, that's sweet. Yep. Uh, fold up cup holder. Um, these seats come up. That's awesome. That's just like mine, dude. So you get all that storage space yeah. under there. And then this this is your toolkit for your, your roadside yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, some people take all that out and they use that for storage also. Um, but those lock up and gives you all this room. So you could sleep back there if you needed to. <laughs> or put oversized things. Yeah, like a dog. How about them wheels, bro? <laughs> that, that is a pretty cool truck. Pretty, you know, he's got it really streamlined to get on the road and, and do this fishing. I love traveling to fish and going to new lakes and finding little lakes, especially, you know, you got big tires, you can drop into some crazy boat ramps. I, I like this kind of stuff. So we're gonna do some more of this. So this is a truck walkthrough of a? To, uh, 2020 Toyota Tundra. Toyota Tundra. We definitely pimped out though, dude. Definitely tweaked out with some features to to travel, get on the road, and find some big bass. So hit that like and subscribe button. Everybody say hi to Bog. Bog, you ready to go fishing? Should we go fishing? Yes, we'll go fishing. Oh, Chris, thank you. Check Chris out at 44 Tackle or online, Chris Kingry Fishing. Um, super good dude. Great shop up in North Central Florida. But we're gonna wrap this thing up because I wanna go catch some bass. Tight lines, guys.